How's it going guys? RCG here. Welcome back to another video. Today I will be going over how to make 3D text in Blender. Now I have made a video of this before but it wasn't detailed enough to me anyway. I didn't like the way it turned out so I thought I would update it with a more detailed and more concise uh, video. One that's not going to take all of your time but will still get all the points across. So for this video you will need the program Blender obviously and if you want to you can get you can go over to this website right here defont.com and download a font if you want to use the default font that's fine the default font it, there's nothing wrong with it it's just you know if, if you're doing this for YouTube or something like that you probably want your own customized font so I'll go ahead and show you what you want to do first uh, so I'll have the links to the both of these in the description so what you want to do is you want to go over here you know pick one of these usually what you want to do is try to stay away from the really fancy ones and by that I mean well, let me pick one. Let me show you an example. It probably won't be hard. Something like that. You know, something with a lot of different parts to it, because it just... Blender likes to freak out with it. It's better to stay with these type of simple fonts. You know, you can get a little bit exciting with some of them, and then some of them don't work quite as well. So, you know, experiment with it, I guess. But for your first one, for the first one you do while you're following along with the video, I'd recommend doing one that has something like this you know something basic just so you get the feel for it and then you can come in here and you can mess with other ones and you'll see what I mean when you pick the wrong kind uh, so I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and show you the one that I'm gonna be using this video I believe this is the name of it uh, I believe that's the one at the top there yeah so this one I'll be using is called Foo it's one of my favorites it's just it looks really good with uh, dual air text in 3D which is what I'm going to show you how to do so what you want to do is you click download uh, you want to have WinRAR or some, something similar so you can un you can unpack it or whatever and what you want to do is what I is uh, create a folder on your desktop called fonts mine's right there and what you'll do is you'll basically just drag the font file right here it'll say true type font file or something like that and you drag it into the folder uh, and that's all. And that's all you have to do. If you want to use it in other programs, what you'll also want to do is double click it and click install. I already have it installed, and it's already in my folder, so I won't I'm not going to be doing that. But that's all you got to do. And then for Blender, you know, if you've ever installed a program or a game in your life, you probably know how how to install something. So I'm not going to go over that, just to save time. So what you want to do is go ahead and open up Blender. You want to click outside of here to get rid of this. And you'll see this is highlighted the cube, the default cube, so you'll hit delete on your keyboard and enter to delete it. Now what I always do is I always turn the resolution up. I go over to shading and change this to transparent. If you don't know what that means, you'll know what you'll see what I mean by the you'll meet, see what I mean by transparent at the end of the video whenever it's rendered and all that. So now what you want to do is bring the cursor over here. You want to hit space, add text, enter. And now as you can see, it's sort of laying down all and you, you know, in order to make it flip up, you want to hit R X nine zero enter. And now, in order to change the camera, you push the, you use the middle mouse button, and you can sort of move it around like this, and then uh, forwards and backwards with the wheel in order to zoom in and out. Then also, in order to move sideways uh, or I guess strafing, you want to push Shift and then middle mouse button, and you can do this with it. Now this isn't terribly important, Just, I mean, try to get centered I guess a little bit so it doesn't drive you crazy while you're making it. Um, maybe a little bit off actually, so, so that when you add some 3D to it, you'll be able to see how far back it goes. So after you've done that, uh, you want to go over to the text tab here, select your font, let's go to fonts, and I, I'll just use foo, as I said, and over here where it says fill, you want to click on none. I think we want to give it some extrude, which will make it give it a 3D effect. I'm gonna, I guess I'll go up to about 100. It doesn't really matter. Uh, then I'm gonna go right here where it says bevel. You want to add some depth to it, which will give it this nice chiseled edge. I'm gonna go up to about 12. Um, well, no, I'll go up to about 15. And then I'll zoom in so I can show you what this does. Resolution of the bevel. We'll round out the edges, make it a little bit more realistic looking. Also kind of gives it a rubber plastic look to it, just looks cool. If you don't want that, that's fine, you just leave that off. 
I just think it looks looks better with it. It's all up to you. Now what you'll want to do is you want to push Shift D left click. And if you do have to move the mouse around after you've um, uh, created a, du a duplicate of it, all you got to do is push right click instead of left click, and it'll shoot it back to the middle. So if you and if you screw up, just push Control Z and it'll undo the last thing. So if it's all the way over here or something like that, it's okay. And then you can just redu reduplicate it. Um, the selection button, I'm just going to go ahead and say this is right click instead of left click. So I'll show you that in just a second. Um, what you want to do, once you have your d your duplicate, go over here where it says fill and go go to both, and then get rid of the bevel. It'll give it this nice two layer look to here. And now w while this is still selected, the inside layer, you'll want to click on the materials tab, go to new, turn the intensity of the color all the way up, and personally I'm just going to put in a code to give it the color that I want. I usually go with the same color for everything. But you can you can change it to whatever you want. It doesn't matter. If you want to use the same shade I'm doing, then that's fine. I'll le I'll leave the the hex numbers in the description or hex code. Uh, what you want to do is push FF zero zero one six. And on the outside, as I said earlier, you want to right click to select new. Do the same thing with the intensity. And then for this one, I'm going to do the number two six times basically so one two three four five six enter give this nice back uh, black excuse me color to the outside so as you can see you got this nice color here so what you want to do is you want to push tab and then backspace out of that I'm just gonna put something just gonna put the word random you can put in here you would put your name push tab again to get out of that right click tab, random, tab, don't push enter, uh, I'll just show you what happens if you push enter, it's no big deal, but it's kind of annoying, you push enter and it goes down like that, so backspace, tab, and there you have that, now you can do that, uh, change your name before you do all this stuff if you want to, like you can do it on the first layer when you first add the extrude and all that before you duplicate it, but it doesn't really matter. Um, and now you want to add some lighting to it. So over on the World tab, you want to click on Environment Lighting and Indirect Lighting. Then you want to go over to the little camera, the Rendering tab, uh, and you want to push Control Alt Zero. And that'll change the camera uh, to this position here. Now what you want to do to position the camera is you want to push N on your keyboard and push Lock Camera to View. Now whenever you move it around, it'll it'll move like this. If you don't do that, then it'll just move. It'll just give you. You'll still be on free view. So, lock camera to view. Push zero, and center it as best you can. You know, to whatever you like. And if you want to preview it, you go down here. I'm not sure how this is going to show up on video, um, but go down here and click on rendered. It's on solid. Click on rendered, and it'll show you what it'll look like after you've rendered it. I imagine it's lagging like crazy on the video, even though it's not on my computer so much. So, you can do that. And just give it to, you know, put it in whatever position you like. Then click render. I'll zoom out a little bit so you can see it. Let it finish doing that. And then you'll want to come over here to Image, Save a Copy. I usually just save it on my desktop just to make it easier. And I'll just name it Random. Enter twice, or, go, or just go over there and click it. Click Save Image. Minimize that. And there you go. So, uh, anyway guys, this is the first video in a Blender series I'm, I'm doing. I'm going to show you how to do several different things, including how to create overlays and that kind of thing like the thing that shows up in the uh, top corner of my video I don't have it in this video just because I want you to see the whole blender program but if you look at my gaming videos you'll see they'll have this sort of overlay over here especially my most recent ones and I'm gonna show you how to do that so if you're interested in that uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with things and if not I appreciate you watching this video anyway 
if you like the video, hit the dis hit the like button. <laughs> if you didn't like the video or there's something questions, you can hit the dislike button, or you can leave me a comment and I'll get back to you probably the same day, definitely the same day, um, about it. Uh, if you have questions and all that, I will answer them and guide you through the process if I need to. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope this helped you guys out, and I will see you in the next video.